Welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate an ActiveX scroll bar and macro associated with this change event so as to create a mortgage calculator using scroll bar controls. You can view three scroll bars here in sheet. This is sheet one which has been displayed. This is the scroll bar one which is which represents the loan amount. This scroll bar two which represents the annual interest in percent scroll bar three which represents the loan tenure here in years these three parameters are used to calculate the monthly installment in dollars in cell b5 a scroll bar control enables to increment or decrement the value in a worksheet range it scrolls through a range of values when a user first option clicks on the scroll arrows. These are the scroll arrows on the left and the right. Let's click on the scroll arrow. You see the loan amount incrementing by $5,000 here again. And if we click on the left scroll arrow, it will decrement by 5,000. The second option of using the scroll bar control is you can click in an area between a scroll arrow here and the scroll box here. This will increment or decrement a larger amount. Let's try doing this, clicking between the two here. So the loan amount increments by $100,000. We do it again here. And on the left, if we do it, it will take decrement accordingly. The third option here is we can also drag the scroll box over much larger amounts. Here we drag it here. So you see the loan amount increasing by a much larger amount compared to clicking between the scroll arrow and the scroll box or using just the scroll arrow here. Here we decrement by a larger amount. So this is how you use a scroll bar. A significant advantage is that you can control the increments and decrements over smaller or larger amounts. So this is a significant advantage of using a scroll bar control. Now we come to the visual basic editor and we come to the macros which are associated with the change event of each scroll bar. Currently you're viewing the macro which is associated with the change event of scroll bar one. This macro is triggered on clicking the scroll bar. It must be located in the code module of the worksheet containing the scroll bar. It's located in sheet one here, which contains all the scroll bars, as we had mentioned earlier. On top of the code module, there are two drop down boxes, one on the left and one on the right. The left drop down box out here, you can see all the controls which are located in the corresponding sheet in sheet one, the scroll bar one, two and three. Here we select scroll bar one. On the right, you can view all the events which are associated with the selected control. You can, this is the change event. This is got focus, key down, key press, all this, these events which are associated with the scroll bar one. Here we select the change event. Now scroll bar one represents the loan amount in cell B2. On changing the value of scroll bar one, calc PMT is the macro which is called, which calculates the monthly installment. Similarly, this is the macro associated now with the change event of scroll bar two. Scroll bar two represents the annual interest in percentage in cell B3. The same macro 
is called to calculate the monthly installment and this is the macro associated with the change event of scroll bar 3 scroll bar 3 represents the loan tenure in years in cell b4 and the same macro to calculate monthly interest is a monthly installment is called when you click the scroll bar and change its value now let's run through the macro which is called by all the three change events of each scroll bar now this macro calculates the monthly installment taking into account the three parameters the loan amount in cell b2 in and it's uh, which is represented by scroll bar one annual interest in cell b3 represented by scroll bar two and the loan tenure in years in cell b4 represented by scroll bar three so changing any value in any of these three scroll bars will recalculate and update the monthly installment in dollars in cell b5 here in cell b5 so, so we are attend, attempting to calculate the monthly interest uh, monthly installment in cell b5 taking into account these three parameters which are controlled by the respective scroll bars here we are setting the range variable to the linked cell of each scroll bar this is the range variable which is set for to the linked cell of scroll bar 1 the linked cell is cell 2 so whenever a scroll bar 1 value changes its value is displayed in cell 2 the linked cell property specifies a cell to store the value of the control here we do the same with scroll bar 2 the linked cell for scroll bar 2 is c3 which stores the scroll bar value and any change in the scroll bar value is updated in cell 3 any change in scroll bar 3 value is stored in cell c4 now each scroll bar we have this variation this for we are now referring to scroll bar one which represents the loan amount in cell b2 now cell b2 is we have offset the linked cell cell uh, the linked cell for scroll bar one was c2 so if we offset by one column to the left we come to cell b2 where we are displaying on the worksheet the final loan amount here cell b2 displays the loan amount now this loan amount we have linked to the scroll bar value multiplied by 1000 so we will not display when the scroll bar one value changes by let's say one unit it will cell b2 will show a value of 1000 for scroll bar one which is the loan amount the small change property specifies the incremental change on clicking on clicking the scroll arrow this has been set to 5 so whenever you set uh, whenever you click on the scroll arrow the loan amount will increment by 5 into 1000 that is $5000 as we had mentioned in the first instance the large change property specifies the incremental change on click on clicking between a scroll arrow and the scroll box this has been set to 100 for scroll bar 1 so if we click between the scroll box and the scroll arrow one click will change the loan amount by 100000 dollars
So now by clicking the scroll arrow, the amount increments by 5000 and clicking between a scroll arrow and the scroll box, the loan amount will increment by 100,000. 100,000 is arrived at by 100 into 1000, whereas 100 was the large change property. So this is how we control the loan amount. Now we come to the annual interest rate, which is specified in cell B3, which is represented by scroll bar 2. For scroll bar 2, the small change is 1, large change is 10. Here we again, in a similar manner as scroll bar 1, we have linked the scroll bar 2 annual interest, which is displayed in cell B3. In cell B3. So when you click a scroll arrow, the value of the control changes by 1, but the annual interest which increments or decrements will be 1 divided by 10, that is 0.1%. And because the large change property has been set to 10, any click between a scroll arrow and the scroll box will increment by 1%, that is 10 divided by 10. So this is how we control the the annual interest rate, which is incremented or decremented by this formula. Now we come to scroll bar 3. We have the loan tenure in years. We have kept the small change. Uh, the loan tenure is in cell B4, is displayed in cell B4. The small change property is set to 1, large change property set to 4 for scroll bar 3. So any click on the scroll arrow will increment or decrement the year by 0 0.5 that is 1 divided by 2, 1 is the small change amount and any click between a scroll arrow and the scroll box will increment or decrement by 2 that is 4 divided by 2 and whereas 4 is the large change amount. Here we have a set of if and then conditions to make values for loan amount, interest rate and loan tenure to be entered mandatorily. So it is mandatory to enter values for these three amounts. We will not take a loan amount of zero or interest, we will not accept a loan amount of zero or interest rate of zero or loan tenure of zero period. Now here finally we use the VBA PMT function to calculate the monthly installment in cell B5 for a specified loan amount on an interest rate for a fixed loan tenure. You can see this cell is B5 which displays the month the monthly installment cell B5 which is calculated by this formula of PMT which takes into account the three parameters as we have specified. So this is how we have created a mortgage calculator using the scroll bar controls to control, to change, to increment or decrement the loan amounts, the annual interest and the loan tenure. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and you found it useful.